Okay, let's talk about the best areas to live in the Tampa area overall. Here we go. I'm Sam and thanks for coming by the Living in Tampa channel where we make these videos for you about what it's like to live and move to Tampa. But more than making these videos, we want to be your real estate choice in the whole area. So give us a call, send us a text, send us an email, and let's get you plugged in with our agents and see how we can help you buy or sell in the Tampa area. So niche.com or niche.com, which do you say? I wish I said niche because I think it sounds um, more intelligent, but I say niche because I'm American? I don't know. But this website, niche.com, comes up with lists of like the best place to live in a certain area. And they break it down a bunch of different ways. So they might do the best place to live in America, the best place to live in the South, the best place to live in Florida. But this is the best place to live in Tampa. And this list is so wrong. Maybe it's not wrong, but it, it's certainly not that helpful. Because of the list, the, the top 25 areas they recommended, only two of them are larger than 5,000 people. And the thing is you might wanna live in one of those places that there's like 2,000 people. But if you're moving here from another state and you're looking to buy a house in a certain timeline, you're looking at that certain area, it's going to be hard to satisfy your needs. And you probably also see in YouTube comments, sometimes people just jump in there and say like, South Tampa is the only good place in Tampa to live. The reality is Tampa's really big. When you look at the MSA, the, the Metropolitan Statistical Area, it's like three and a half million, but some people wanna lump in some other areas that make it like four and a half million. So however you think of it, and also whatever job you have. So one of the lenders that I partner with, he oversees like Tampa and beyond a little bit, but not, not all the way to Orlando, but all the way into Polk County where Lakeland is, and then all the way down to like Bradenton and Sarasota. So he thinks of Tampa as bigger than I do. And everybody thinks of it a little bit differently. So the two places on the list that were bigger than 5,000 people were West Chase and New Tampa. So West Chase is a master plan community. We've, we've made a bunch of videos about it. They're linked up above, kind of on the west side of the city of Tampa in between Tampa and like the beach area. West Chase is a really cool area for a lot of really good reasons. And then New Tampa. New Tampa is the north side of Tampa. So it's a master plan community area that was acquired by the city in like the late 90s and incorporated into the city and then built out this big master plan community starting in like 1999. Obviously, we've made some videos about that too and they're linked above. Both really cool areas, both areas that we've helped a lot of clients buy places. But the reason I hate lists like this is because they're just a little narrow. They're not connecting with you as a consumer about what it is that you're looking for. Gosh, that bird. I'm busy down here. Trying to help people. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna work through the bird. So we talked about Tampa. Tampa's really big. But then if you start to break it down a little bit, so you look at St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg is, you know, a quarter of a million people, but locals think of it as bigger. So my in-laws, who were like born and raised in the area, they were talking about Reddington Beach the other day. And my mother-in-law said, yeah, it's down in St. Petersburg. It's not in St. Petersburg. It's, a, it's literally a different town, but locals think of it that way. Locals think of these lumps of the area you know, where it's kind of like North Pinellas, they think of as one thing, and then Clearwater, they think of as one thing, and then they lump some of Largo into that, and then some of Largo probably gets lumped into St. Petersburg, and then all these beaches down there get lumped into St. Petersburg if they're south of probably like Sand Key. Another area that, that my in-laws lumped together, so we have some family that lives in Fishhawk, this big master plan area out to the southeast of Tampa. Obviously, we've got videos linked above about Fishhawk. The Fishhawk is way out here, and my father-in-law recently said they live out in Brandon. They don't live in Brandon. Brandon's a town of 100,000 people over there on the east side of Tampa, but it's not Fishhawk. Fishhawk is a different thing. But all these areas are big, and everybody needs kind of a different mixture of these to be right for them. But let's talk about the five most recommended areas. When people call us, when people need our help, these are the areas we recommend the most. I think West Chase is on that list. West Chase is this suburban area right in the middle of the whole Tampa area and, and kind of highlights of it. Really easy access to Tampa, really easy access to the beaches. 
and like a master planned vibe. Not like kind of suburban, like super suburban master planned. Another area that we recommend all the time is Palm Harbor. Palm Harbor is actually where I am right now. Palm Harbor is in between like Clearwater and Dunedin and Tarpon Springs, so North Pinellas County. Um, really good schools. And then like the location, it's just access. Access is really good here to, to water, to um, you know bigger towns like Clearwater, to bigger towns like Tampa. All that is pretty accessible. And, and that school like family vibe is really important. And then next on the list is probably the North suburbs. So that kind of like Odessa to Wesley Chapel area, that kind of along Highway 54, we end up recommending that area often. And you see the main areas we recommend are pretty suburban because a lot of the people that are moving here are young families or older families, but they're, they're looking for that kind of relaxed suburban vibe. And we have plenty of clients shopping in really cool areas like downtown St. Pete and Seminole Heights. If you missed that Seminole Heights video, that's linked up above. So we do have clients shopping in those areas, but that is quite a bit more rare than the suburban areas. A lot of people want that kind of relaxed suburban vibe. And here's, here's another example of that. So we have one client looking to move here and they wanna live kind of downtown for a few years, probably like South Tampa-ish kind of toward downtown. And then they're thinking they'll have kids soon and then in a few years they'll move out to the suburbs. A lot of the people that are moving here and, and contacting us are just already kind of in that next phase of moving out to the suburbs. Interestingly, one of the areas we recommend the least is Clearwater. A lot of people contact us about Clearwater, but it doesn't fit the criteria of a lot of people. There's some really like nice places there, but you kind of have this dichotomy in Clearwater of the really rich and the really poor. And it's just kind of a confusing city. It's so from not being from here, Clearwater just seems like concrete to me. Concrete and then like a really uh, fancy beach with like shopping and stuff like that. Like if I'm going to the beach, I don't wanna go shopping as well. Like, it, I, and that's just me. Like you, if you're coming here for a vacation, that, that might be a pretty different experience. If you live here, then you're probably going to avoid those areas where tourists kind of congregate and where you feel kind of overwhelmed by roads and concrete and visitors. So these are just some of the reasons that, that niche.com is wrong about the top areas in Tampa. And these are the top areas that we end up recommending. So if you are thinking about moving to the area, we want to hear from you. We want to hop on a Zoom call or a phone call and really get to get some time to dig into what is important to you and help you identify the areas in the whole Tampa area that could best fit you and your needs and your family and, and, and whatever you are looking for in this season of life. So give us a call, send us a text or send us an email and thanks for coming by.